Uh, features on dash cams today are pretty much ubiquitous. They all have the same features. Today we're going to look at this Vantru Sonnet in or uh, Sonnet One Pro, and it, uh, it comes with a joystick, weird-looking joystick like that. Front-facing cam and a two-inch uh, screen. Also comes with a rear cam, so let's unbox it and check it out. Uh, there's a polarizer. We're going to put a polarizer on here that's going to cut down on the grit glare tremendously. It comes with everything you need as far as getting it uh, set up and plugged in. Now, these are easy to install. You just glue it on your uh, dash uh, or your windscreen, I should say, with the um, 3M double-sided sticky tape, and you plug it in your cigarette lighter, and that's pretty much it. Now, as far as setup and, fee and uh, getting it configured, use the app. So download your app, connect to Wi-Fi to this dash cam, and you can tweak uh, whatever feature you want. And I'm not sure what feature this camera does not have, it records in 2K or 2.7K or something like that. And that's what we're going to kind of get into today. Because these cameras all pretty much claim the same thing. That they get 2K, 4K, and they're all using the same sensor, which is a Sony Starvis 2. And here's the image quality. Again, it has a front-facing cam and a rear-facing cam. You see there, the rear is um, uh, can either be 1080p or uh, it can be 2K. Uh, that's what most companies provide so check the specs uh, but we're going to focus on the front cam here which is uh, basically in 2k and you can tweak the settings to you know to go down to 1080p to get more record time but uh, this is what you're left with as far as image quality and again they all look the same i'm not going to lie here these dash cams today are, are indistinguishable they're all using a sony sensor None of them come close to, say, the qual image quality of a GoPro uh, Hero 10, 12, 11, or whatever the heck they're up to now. <laughs> you know, it's not going to be a GoPro in your car. But what you're going to get is this. You're going to get kind of this status quo um, uh, dash cam, at least in the front, that's going to claim 2K, 4K, and th they all look good. Now... We can only get dash cam images so good because it's it's of course inside your uh, your windshield and you're going to get glare and that's again why we put a polarizer on this lens so it accepts a polarizer and the polarizer does improve the image quality and cuts down on the glare. Uh, let's say uh, I don't know twenty thirty percent, but um, the idea behind dash cams is to capture events. I know people want to capture license plates and every last detail, but that's not what they're for. They're they're there to capture events, and this uh, Sonnet One Pro by Vantru can certainly do that. It's going to capture license plates both front and rear uh, with a, a reasonable amount of probability. So, in other words, if you're reasonable about this camera, it's going to be reasonable with you. It's going to do uh, everything you want. It loop records, it has uh, parking sensors, it has time lapse, you name it, it has it. We're not going to test every last feature here because most people already know what these things come with. They're interested in the video quality and you're looking at it. Now, the other elephant in the room, of course, is going to be how long is the thing going to last? In other words, reliability. This thing is not made in Japan. It's not a Sony. It's not a Panasonic. It's not a Samsung. It's a Van True. <laughs> So these uh, Chinese companies are new and they're making a name for themselves. And, um, you know, it, time will tell how far they last as far as longevity. We live in a desert, as you can see. We're going to keep ours in our car and we're going to let it bake. When it gets to be 120 out here, it's going to be 140 in this vehicle. And we're going to see if it lasts. So as far as a, a final verdict on this camera, it's got to be undecided. And it's only undecided due to the longevity question. Can it last the summer? Will it last the summer or will it simply fail? Now, I can't say it will or it won't, but uh, the reputation of Vantru is still being uh, crafted or made or established, if you will. This They added this thing down here this kind of joystick that makes you think you can like <laughs> you know oh i can navigate the menus easily but it's actually uh it doesn't do what you want it to do it's not intuitive at all like when you're going into the menu and you know you want to navigate the menu and move around like you think oh to go left here i'll just push this joystick left right nope it just does that so 
down, up, left, right. It's just whatever. <laughs> so it's not uh, it's not intuitive. I'm not saying it's broken. I'm just saying it's not intuitive. The better use, the better, more practical way to configure this thing is to do this. Use the app. So download Venture app on your phone. Connect to Wi-Fi. Then you set everything up, and it it just transmits what you want and saves it instantly so uh, this seems to be a kind of waste of space if you will all of this stuff down here is not really needed because nobody's really going to use this nor is it intuitive so they probably could have made this design more streamlined smaller or whatever the point is this is just you know it's just wasteful now I'm not saying there's not a heat sink or whatever blah 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 inside here that makes this space useful Van True should just work on streamlining this this whole design of looking like a you know this block <laughs> with a screen it's really uh <clears throat> it's really uh not really doing anything anymore when that when the, uh, your app settings are so easy to use from your phone and this conversely is so difficult to use using this thing and i think van true knows uh, uh what i'm talking about because look at this here you can see the Vantro, same company. This is their N4, or excuse me, N, yeah, N4 Pro. Look how streamlined this is. Look at that. It is just a nice slim screen. But there's four useless buttons down here, but Vantro knows they're useless. And so they stuff them down there out of the way because they know nobody's going to use them. And instead you have this nice, small, streamlined profile. The front camera is where my finger is, and the interior camera is here. And your wires are tucked right under there. Now compare that with this Atari 2600 joystick. <laughs> so yeah, this one's cheaper, uh, but this is way more streamlined. That's just what it is. I mean, what would you rather have? This brick or this little uh, cylindrical thing with no wasted buttons? It just does what it's supposed to do. And that's the end of it. So you can see the size difference here is pretty, pretty, pretty major. Now, of course, you can tuck this up out of the way. This is useless. This is the design to go with. But again, we're talking a price difference. And so that's what you're gonna have to decide. This larger Van True, the Sonnet here, it does everything the, the uh, more expensive unit does. The difference, however, is in the form. As far as image quality goes, they're both using the same sensor, allegedly. And uh, there's been reports of shenanigans with sensors, blah, blah, blah. Of Are they putting out 4K, 2.5K, as it says, 1080p, 2K, blah, 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 blah. Who knows? They all look good. So you have to decide, is uh, the cough savings worth it to you to have a bigger dash cam on your dash versus a smaller one?